DJ. I think he has like a bowl of chitlins or something. I don't know. But I was getting ready to sing. Your girl was getting ready to sing. So Damn. for me, singing every Christmas was kind of like practice. I didn't. I think this is a big reason why I never get nervous. I'm just like always excited to perform. Because I've just been doing it for so long. It was mm -hmm. like a game <laughs> the whole time. I think a lot of kids would, like, a lot of us would do dances, but I was like, I just was like, no, I'm going to sing. Something about hearing my voice come out of the speakers, too, was really cool. I was like, wow. It's magic. Big fun, you yeah. know? That's so cool. Mm -hmm. Lil Shug. Lil Shug, getting it. <laughs> so I like looking at this photo, and I keep it at my desk when I'm working and stuff, because I'm like, once again, like, when I get tired or I get, like, maybe, like, a little confused on what I'm doing, I'm like, no, I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as long mm -hmm. as I got a little microphone in my hand, I'm going to be all right. Still on the path. <laughs> Still on the path. <laughs> Heck yeah. So this is my little area. I get myself, I like adorn myself with my jewelry. My jewelry is pretty important to me. I like looking at all these different things every day to remind me of where I'm going because it's where I come from. I got my pop-up Charlie over here. Big shout out to Pop-Up Charlie. He passed away in 2017, but this man loves him some Philadelphia Eagles. Let's go birds. Big reason why I wanted to move here too. Like looking at my parents every day and some of my chosen family, Rob Pfeiffer, Lauren Keeney. Absolutely love these people. Got my little hoochie coochie ring. I've been too lazy to fix. But I like wearing that too. Shout out to my hoochie coochie family. And this is my mommy and my daddy. I get my little peanut head from my dad. <laughs> and then my mom was a singer. My mom was the one who wanted me to sing. She's always like, let me sing a song. And I'm like, find your own band. But she does have an absolute beautiful voice. Wow. I called her the other day. Um, it was after my show at Love Love Park. And I was super exhausted because I've just been working a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I had a moment. I was like, okay, I got six minutes. Let me, you know, six minute walk down to the Thai food place. Let me just give her a call. And she's, you know, she's a chatty Cathy. So I told her a little bit about myself. And then she's, ah. <laughs> and I don't know why or how, but she's like, he wants to sing your song. And I'm like, okay, okay. So she's singing to me. It's a gospel song, because that's all she sings. Mm -hmm. But it was like just so nice. All, there was a microphone. I was like, Mom, is that an echo? And she was like, girl, that's reverb. <laughs> <laughs> I said, where are you? She said, I'm in my room. I got my little microphone. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So she just sings me a song. Damn. So, mm -hmm. In a busy day. What, like a moment of, of peace. Yeah. So I nice. mean, I was waiting to get my food. <laughs> <laughs> But I let her finish her song. Oh, you never know how many verses she got, though. I feel like sometimes she makes them up. <laughs> Verse 14. Yes! Come in with it quick! <laughs> so. Oh, that's beautiful. Did you bring some bolos back from Nashville? Mm-hmm. Lauren bought me the, the one with the, uh, like the, what's it called? Not ivory or jade or... Oh, that's throwing on there? Yeah, she bought me that one. Wow. She got, she got, she has a matching one too. Oh, really? Yeah, and then Chelsea got me the one, the D one. Oh, so fly. Mm-hmm. Hannah got me the hat. I like gifts. Aaron um, gifted me that ukulele, which is where I wrote um, all of Franklin Street on that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Heck yeah. It was in, it was in her room, and we had a, we had switched rooms during the pandemic. Um, and I asked her if she wanted it back, and she was like, I literally never played it. You can have it. Damn. And uh, here we are. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the instrument of choice. Yeah. It's so cool. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. I live in Philadelphia now. I grew up in sleepy Delaware, but I've always had a curious and adventurous mind.
Music always seemed like a way to escape mentally from some of the issues I faced at home. Substance abuse, verbal and physical abuse, emotional hardships. I remember hearing Jill Scott's Golden as a kid. My mom used to play it on repeat. I was maybe too young to understand the power of her lyrics, but I felt the power in her voice clear as day. Those vibrations would lead me to become a lifelong fan, returning time and time again to that song. Growing into an adult, I realized she wasn't just singing about having a good day. Jill was speaking her freedom into existence. As a black woman, it was paramount for me to witness this. It gave me and many others like me and unlike me permission to claim their power and create their own story. Thanks, Julie. Every day there's something to do. Feels like the hustle never stops when you're living a creative life. I remember sitting at Rosario's before I lived in Philly, eating food with a friend before a show, trying to figure out where did I want to be? Where did I want to move to next? Before we got to the studio, I knew I needed a little pick-me-up, so we walked over to Batter and Crumbs, one of my favorite spots, to get some coffee. Unfortunately, they were closed, but in South Philly, there's always somebody open and ready to serve you an espresso. We stopped by Hive and got lattes and matcha. Walking down Broad Street, there's just so much history. The Dolphin Tavern. How many lives has that place lived? The murals in the city keep you motivated and dreaming too. Sam has an in-home studio. It's always so fun to get in there and record. Ask my buddy from Delaware. We joke we both moved all the way to Philly just to find each other. This was going to be the last finishing touches on this recording process. I'm taking my freedom, putting it off the shelf, putting it on my chain, wearing it round my neck, cut him. I'm taking my freedom, I'm putting it in my car, wherever I choose to go.
such a clean like I mean that makes sense but that's why that's cooler yeah it's like a surprise cause it gives you an extra little that's the one are you into that that's the one yeah 